All right, hello everybody. This is the bus driver and I'm here to take you to school. We're back with some more NHL 16 via GM here in season nine, round two of the playoffs. We're going up against the Dallas Stars. So let's take a look at Dallas. See what we've got to go against. In the regular season, Ryan Johansson was their highest scorer. 87 points, not bad. Tyler Sagan had 91. And then Brett Ritchie. Hmm. Okay. Anyone here kind of stand out? Slava Voinov's there. Brett Pollock's there. Julius Honka's over there. Interesting. Is that Kate Middleton? No, Keaton Middleton. That's funny. Sounds like the uh, the uh, soon to be was it the princess? And in goal, they have Justin Tavares, their starter. And splitting time with him is Jack Campbell. Same overall. How do they do in shutouts there? One and two. All right, so that's where they're weak is their goalie. And you know what I never did is I never looked at overall in the league who was the best this year. Sorry about forgetting that, so let's, let's do that right now. Johnny Mara won 47 games, a franchise goalie who's only 23. Nedekovic had 43 with a 1.9 goals against. That's very good. Very, very good. Uh, other than that, who stands out? Devin Dubnik, the fact that he did any good is astounding. That's probably the weakness they had there. That's my guess. Um, in terms of shutouts, who led the league? Oh, Nedekovic had 12. He led, yes. He might win best goalie. You never know. Uh, defenseman. Had the most points here 70 for Morgan Riley, 66 for Borman, and then we go down from there. Doomba had 55. Geez, them and their three franchise defensemen. Charles Bieksko was up there, not bad for us considering he only played 78 games. And forwards wise, 90 points for Taylor Hall, 90 for Tarasenko. Not bad. Any names here that stand out? Cools, Cedric Cools, he did well. It's a newer name. Connor McDavid was up there. Jared McCain. Oh, man. I don't want to play Vancouver. Not at all. And who's going to win the uh, goal scoring? Tyler Sagan with 51. All caught up, but not enough. Okay, so that's because I forgot to look at the overall stats. Let's see how Dallas did in the playoffs so far. Eight points for Ryan Johansson in seven games. All right. And uh, Brett Ritchie was six. Tyler Sagan had four goals. But they're all minuses. So that's interesting. It looks like uh, Minnesota scored quite a bit on them. Let's take a look at our lineups here. And I just simmed the AHL game, so hopefully they won. Let's take a look here. Chara, Sniper, Ryan Johansson, Brett Ritchie, Dahl, Sagan, and Bryce Thornton. Okay. Jason Dickinson. I'm surprised he's down there, but that's their choice, I guess. Cody Eakin and Nicholas Jacobson. Logan Horkoff, Brett Pollock, and Par Blomstrand. Defensively, they've got Slava Voinov and Julius Honka. Alexiak and uh, Justin Schultz, and then Simpson and Mil Keaton Middleton. We've got them beat defensively. <coughs> and then John Tavares and Jack Campbell as their goalies. So, as long as we can keep them off the scoreboard, same thing as we did in Edmonton. Keep uh, Johansson off the scoreboard, keep Tyler Sagan off the scoreboard, and we will win. How do we do? Oh, they lost in overtime. Ah. And the uh, Rampage are eliminated. Unfortunately. Here we go. First period. Nothing. Okay, I'll take it. Second period. Bloom Strand. All right. They took one. That's not great for us. Shots are pretty even. Come on, boys. Pot something. There you go. Korostelev with his, what, fifth goal of the, 
of the playoffs now. Something like that. Oh yeah, we're way out shooting them now. We just gotta keep up that pressure, boys. Put one more behind their goalie. Nothing, okay. We're out shooting them by nine, or eight. Which is great to see. Overtime now. In the Pepsi Center. I think we're still in the... Yeah, we're in the Pepsi Center. It must be. Oh, we're way out shooting them, boys. Come on. Keep those shots up. There you go. They, they aren't even getting shots. They haven't had a shot in like 10 minutes. Oh, come on. 50, 50 shots on goal. Come on. There's no way Campbell can be this good. Or uh, who's the other one? I don't even know who the other one is. Jeez, they're goalie. Yeah, Tavares. Jeez. Incredible work he's doing right now. Stopping 51 of 52. He's going to get the first star even if they lose. Oh, and Sorella does it! Sorella scores! Two minutes into overtime. Beautiful goal. Oh, on the power play too, I think. Oh, yeah. I told you to get the first star. 51 saves for them. He deserved that. Actually, let's see. Was that on the power play? No, it wasn't. It was just regular. All right. Could have been four on four. I'm not sure. Actually, no, that's Corstella. Where's, uh... Yeah, no, it wasn't a power play goal. All right. Oh, what a game that was. That was a good, good game. Very good game. Eight. Oh, yeah, we have morale to deal with. Let's ask around. It's probably Nedekovic. Oh, no, it's Corrado. He doesn't like being scratched. Well, things happen. Uh, it's unfortunate that our AHL team lost, but... Oh, well. Let's go into game two at the Pepsi Center. Let's hopefully clinch it before overtime this time. First period... Nothing. All right. We still can't score in the first period. But neither can they. We have yet to let in a goal in the first period. Second period. Oh! We took the first two. Tangy and Duchesne a minute later. Then Jacobson, Johansson, and Johansson. Ooh. Not pretty. So that was not a good period. You know, we're only down by one here. They're out shooting us, though. Come on, score one on power play. Oh, nothing. Got 10 minutes to go here. This goalie they've got in net is rude. Oh, no. Jacobson gets a second. Oh, but we're on a five on three. Oh, and we couldn't do it. A five on three wasn't enough. Ah, oh, they kept, they just, they just beat us defensively. I don't think there's another way to put it. Tavares, though, is standing on his head. You've got a goalie there. All right, we got uh, Finnerty back. Let's let's throw him in there and see if he can give us a spark. I'd like to see Perron show up on the scoreboard again. I haven't seen him in a little while. Tangy hasn't showed up in a little while either. Yeah, all right. It's, it's too early to start blowing the whistle. You know, we, we've only lost uh, one game there. Here we go. Game three in Dallas. First period. Korstelev. Perfect. Called him out and he showed up. Second period. Sagan and Dickinson. Oh, boy. Not looking pretty. Their offense is just taking over right now. Come on. Score another one for us. Nothing out of that. Try. Oh, and Korstelev gets a second of the game. Beautiful. We give up a power play, but they get nothing. Come on, another power play goal. Ooh, no with it. Such luck. All right. Into overtime. This is going much harder than I thought it would. I thought we had them defensively, but it turns out they, uh, they got some tricks under their sleeve. Here we go, into overtime. They're out shooting us, which is not something we want to see. Oh, and Hargrave! He shows up! 
on the third line. I was thinking about moving him down to the fourth. But it doesn't matter. He shows up and pots the winner in overtime for us. Beautiful. We're up two games to one now. We stole that one from them. Where'd Brule go? There he goes. Put Brule over here. All right. Here we go into game three. First period. Tangi and Honka, okay. We took one with a minute left to go. That's a good type of goal. Second period. Matt Duchesne puts us up by one on a shot from the point. Oh, power play. Nice, nice job. Okay, we'll take it. We're out shooting him now. Five on three, come on. Ooh, but you know what? That's a lot of pressure on them. So that's good. That pretty much killed four minutes. There you go, a minute to go. Yes! And we keep Dallas off the scoreboard. And we take it in again. Tavares takes the first star. You know, he's standing on his head and their team just can't can't do it for him. And, oh lord, Finnerty rebroke his nose. Ah, uh, that is my bad that I put you back in, but we needed you. Had to put someone in there, so. Okay, back home. We're up three games to one. Oh, hi, babe. You gonna do yoga? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're up three games to one now. Goalies now. Four, five, three, two. How much? All the way. All right, I'll move over. There. Is that good? But then where am I gonna sit? But... You don't need this much room. This is weird. I don't sit here. Okay, all right. I was looking for goalies. I think it's only going to be CHL goalies. Yeah. Five here. Okay. Sure, we'll do goalies here for three weeks. Here we go. We're up three games to one, just like we were in Edmonton. At home, in the Pepsi Center. We play smart and play hard, we can win this one. Surprisingly, we only have 80% chemistry. But here we go. First period, nothing, all right. Back to our usual. Second period, Tange, he shows up. Puts one past Tavares. And you know, Tavares has been standing on his head, but Dallas is just missing a couple pieces here. Probably defense. Ooh, second power play. We had a four on three there for a little bit. Oh, Tyler Sagan ties it up with five minutes to go. That's not good. Shot from the point. Shouldn't have ever let that happen. All right, into overtime. Okay, five minutes in, nothing. There was a power play for us. We couldn't produce. Oh, and Brett Pollock. Oh, he scores in overtime to keep Dallas in this. That sucks. All right, that's fine. We're up three to two now. Dallas is a lot harder than I expected. All right. Here we go. Sim this one. In Dallas. I'll, I'll win in Dallas. I don't mind. First period. Tange starts it again. Good play you're making out of him on the third line. Second period. Smalls. Biggie Smalls. From an awkward angle. Puts us up by two. Alright. We just need to strap down defensively, boys. Don't give him anything easy. Oh, Tyler Sagan, though. From the slot. Why are we letting him in the slot so much? Five on three though there. for That was a long one. Up by ten shots. It's not good enough though. We need goals, not shots. A minute to go. Ooh, and we take it. Schmalz's goal wins it for us. And Tavares again gets the first star. He deserved it. 
That's unfortunate for Dallas. Their goalie stood in his head. I wouldn't have been surprised if they had managed to beat us. Oh no, and we have to play Vancouver. Oh boy. I am not excited for that. Them and their franchise goalie. Well, let's uh, let's take a look and see who did well in our playoffs in that stretch. Let's see. Ten points for Tangy. Seven goals. Wow. Whew. Course Delve has six goals. All right. So the two guys, you know, I underestimated. You know what? Perron though has got eight points in eleven games. It's not bad. McKinnon's got seven assists. Duchesne's got five goals. You know, everyone here is producing, and I don't really want to change the lines. Everyone's doing well where they are. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <clears throat> so I think we're going to leave it like that. And Vancouver went in another seven-game series, so maybe they're not as good as I thought. It took them seven. Philly beat Carolina in four, and uh, Columbus beat Buffalo in six. So, now is a good time for another break before we go into round three. So, thanks a lot for those of you watching on YouTube. Take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus underscore driver, and at bus driver on Twitter. All spelled with an L through US. Hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons so you can see when I'm live. Join me in chat. I appreciate it when you do. Other than that, um, I'm going to take a quick break, and we'll be back for round three. So stick around. I'll see you then. Take care.